their membrane is quite resistant to the enzyme because just imagine that there is uh, there is a body which is carrying a great amount of digestive enzymes but it is not acted upon uh, by these enzymes and also reason is but its its membrane its uh, lysosome membrane is covered with a great amount of carbohydrate or oligosaccharides so oligosaccharides uh join with the lipids to form oligo uh, join to form join with the lipids to form glycolipids or join with the proteins of the membrane to form glycoproteins and this is called as glycosylation of the lipids and protein this is the reason that its its membrane is highly resistant to its enzymes now the next thing lysosome also play an important role as a suicidal bag i think in ninth class you have learned about this concept and it is main its main function is intracellular digestion as well as extracellular digestion so when digestion has to take place outside outside the lysosome is going to fuse with the plasma membrane and release all its enzymes outside and if and if the digestion has to take place inside it occurs in the food vacuole now the first thing next important first thing is that the lysosome Uh, occurs in a number of forms so the topic is the polymorphism found in the lysosome lysosomes uh, have various types so first type is called as the primary lysosomes now all those lysosomes which are freshly prepared by the golgi complex are called as the primary lysosome and the other word for them is the golgi golgian vacuole now what is golgian vacuole let me quickly summarize this point Uh, vacuoles carry enzymes enzymes are proteins so where do you think proteins are synthesized ribosome golgi complex or rer the answer is supposed to be the ribosomes and where are ribosomes situated ribosomes are situated on the surface of the rer and if you remember the previous lectures i have told you there is a hole or a pore in the rer and uh, from after once a chain of amino acids or a protein protein here is called as enzyme so once a protein is formed it has to enter from the ribosome into the rer lumen enter inside the er and once it enters inside the er it will come out after some modification in the form of transition vesicle this vesicle will fuse with the cis phase undergo final changes and change into a functional enzyme and come out in the form of golgian vacuole so golgian vacuole basically comes from golgi complex but its content content means the enzymes enzymes are formed by the rer with the help of ribosomes so a primary lysosome is a freshly formed golgian vacuole which is rich in enzymes somewhere around 40 to 50 different hydrolases have been discovered by scientists so uh, let if i if you need example i can give you the example of cellulase is there then uh, pep peptidase is there lipase is there nuclease is there there are many types of hydrolases enzymes now the second type of uh, or second polymorphic form of the lysosome is the secondary lysosome so what is secondary lysosome when a primary lysosome or a golgian vacuole fuses with the pinosome so pinosome a few classes back i explained endocytosis to you and there was a topic of cell drinking and cell digesting or cell eating so uh, if a phagosome uh, if you remember these two things are carrier vesicles so if a carrier vesicle which is carrying a food or a liquid food happens to join fuse with the primary vacuole the primary vacuole or primary lysosome carries the enzyme so what will happen inside food will start undergoing digestion so secondary lysosome are those bodies which are respond which are formed by fusion of the primary lysosome which carries enzyme with the food vacuole and finally digestion takes place Uh, secondary lysosomes are also called as heterophagosome also called as digestive vacuole also called as heterolysosome why heterolysosome because uh, the food is coming from outside when something comes from outside if you remember when something if nutrition is dependent on others it is called heterotrophic same manner if the nutrition is coming from outside it is called heterolysosome 
Now there is another word autolysosome. So what is autolysosome? When something of its own, if a cell decides to digest something present inside it because maybe a mitochondria has become quite old and it has to be digested. In that case, that digestion would be called as autophago, autophagy or autophagosome, autolysosome, cytolysosome or autophagic vacuole. I hope this point is clear to you. To start such a digestion, the cell has to first of all prepare an isolation envelope around the old or finishing type of worn out type of organelle like mitochondria, chloroplast and then slowly digest it with the help of fusion of these primary lysosomes around that isolation envelope. Third thing, once digestion is over and absorption has taken place, leftover things have to be thrown out. So leftover things will be thrown uh, are, are left inside the residual body which will undergo efagy, efagy also I explained that day it was under the concept of exocytosis. Sometimes a lysosome is able to perform both things heterophagy also as well as autophagy also in that case it is called as amphilysosome. Now just a minute I want to take and discuss this diagram with you. So how does a lysosome function? Imagine this is the boundary of a cell, so this is the plasma lemma of a cell and imagine that there is a nucleus and there is an RER. RER is preparing the enzymes in their primary form. So you can say simply proteins are formed by the ribosome. They undergo changes in the RER and then come out in the form of transition vesicle. This vesicle will go and fuse with the cis phase of the Golgi complex undergo final modification becomes an active enzyme and come out in the form of the Golgian vacuole. Now this Golgian vacuole is going to fuse with